The IoT Lounge presents What is Backnet? What is Backnet? Backnet is a data communication protocol for building automation and control networks. It is a communication standard protocol that was designed to allow communication of building automation devices. It defines standard communication services which allow building devices from multiple vendors to communicate in a common platform. The protocol has been endorsed by large vendor and customer base with over 1,000 vendors. But why do we need an open protocol? Before open standards building mangers had to operate different systems for heating and cooling, lighting and security. The products were typically from multiple vendors and were not interoperable or interchangeable. The building was locked down to the system from the single vendor for each functionality as switching costs were high. Buildings owners and managers were frustrated with the poor quality of service from vendors leading to high operational costs. The protocol defines set of software and hardware rules. Each BACnet device contains a set of objects. The objects interacts with the device with both physical and logical structures. The device interacts with other devices within a network using services. The standard also defines set of hardware and software rules including electrical signaling, addressing, network access, error checking, flow control, message sequence, presentation and message format. What is an object? An object is a collection of information related to particular function. All information is presented in a data structure and each object is represented with multiple properties. The objects may represent physical point or non-physical logical grouping of points. Example of physical objects include analog input, analog output, binary input, binary output and logical objects include loop, schedule, trend log, device, file, notification class and event enrollment. What is a service? The messaging service between devices is defined by services. Classes of services include alarm and events, object access, remote device management and file access. Examples of object access services include, read property, read property multiple, write property, write property multiple, create object and delete object. What are the communication medium? The most common local area network options are BACnet over IP and BACnet over MSTP in EAI 485 interface. Enough of the theory. Let's examine BACnet in action in real life example. The typical architecture of a BACnet system consists of HAVC equipment and sensors around a building connected series of field programmable controllers communicating in MSTP. The data is presented in a presentation layer in a BACnet enterprise software residing in the IP layer of the network. The data is traversed between MSTP and IP layer using BACnet router. For example, to read current temperature from a temperature sensor in a building, the user selects the device and the analog input which the sensor is connected from the enterprise BACnet software. The protocol sends a read property service targeting the selected device. The packet traverses between the IP and MSTP layer via the router to the destination device. The device responds back with the current temperature value. The value is displayed in the software for user's visibility. To turn a fan on an air handling unit, the user selects the device and the binary output which the fan is connected from the enterprise BACnet software. The protocol sends a write property service targeting the selected device. The packet traverses between the IP and MSTP layer via the router to the destination device. The device triggers output to on state and responds back with an acknowledgement to the software for confirmation. As for the examples, the objects in devices in a BACnet network interact via set of services to perform the core functions of a building automation system. This includes the logic flow of physical inputs and outputs, the controlling of output based on input, scheduling, alarming and data logging. The open nature of the objects and services facilitate integration between multi-vendors, giving somewhat more power back to the decision makers with a greater choice.